we are hatching out chicks and I just heard a peep. Let's see. Oh yeah. Got one back there. In a cracked thing. Let me see. Hopefully it's alive. I don't want to open it if it's not fluffed out, which it's not. They say don't open it if it's not fluffed out. Hopefully it's sleeping and it's not dead. Uh, I don't know guys. It's not moving. Heard a peep, but they say don't touch it until Oh, I just heard it. So, and there's another pip on this one. So, a couple of these are gonna hatch. All right, the kids came in here to look. And it's definitely alive. It's barely moving around. He doesn't know how to do it, but... It's alive. Mm -hmm. So that's good. You guys excited? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this egg here, the brown one, the light brown. That one, we've got one trying to push through. Which is pretty cool. So, at least we got two. And then I saw a pip or whatever they call it over here on that dark brown one. Basically it poked its way out, but then this chick came bashing through and rolled it. So I can't see it. Yeah, you can see that moving. It's zippering it's called. It just pokes all the way around, all the way through. Pretty cool. All right guys, it's a little dark in here. Uh, sorry, this is as bright as it gets in this room. It's kind of dark outside, but we got four of them hatched. There's one that we're waiting for, so we got to do this quickly. We don't want it to dry out. But that one doesn't even have a pip that I can see. There's no, nothing. Um, so I'm not even sure if that one's alive, but it's been now over 24 hours since the first one hatched. So I want to get these out. They can stay up to 72, but it's better to get them out for, you know, as soon as possible, get them in, you know, some water and stuff like that. So makes them healthier, but they're all doing really well. It's really hard to see these, but you can see them in there. So I'm waiting for this to get up to temperature, 98 degrees. So actually that's good. So I think it's time. So my wife's here, she's gonna help. We're gonna flip this op over, hold on. Uh-oh, it's like stuck, there we go. Get them in there. Oh, hey, buddy. All right, now they're all in here. And you got them, good. All right, so I'm gonna take their beak I'm going to put it in the water so it knows right where the water is. There, that's where you get water, guys. Did you find it? So I don't know if I said this, I switched it out to paper towel. And I put a little bit of crumbs here because I might not be able to find this very easily. So I put some food crumbs here, but oh, it turns itself off. So I've got this on a timer thing here where if it's, it's 100 degrees, it's going to shut off. It'll shut back on at or turn back on at like 99. So, all right, my wife got this back together. We pulled out the broken eggshells and we put in a wet paper towel, a damp paper towel just to help bring up that humidity quicker. Yeah, so this I think is a Cuckoo Moran. I think this is a Barred Rock. This is Silver Phoenix, um, straight Silver Phoenix. By the way, they're all Silver Phoenix. Uh, the male is a Silver Phoenix, but this is Silver Phoenix and Cuckoo Moran, Silver Phoenix and Barred Rock, Silver Phoenix and Golden Comet, and then Silver Phoenix, Silver Phoenix. So hopefully that's a female because we want more Silver Phoenix since ours passed. There we go. So that's four. Hopefully we get this other one to hatch. So we're still waiting on one. Yeah, it's an Easter egg or one. So the kids wanted to come in and see. We didn't have them switch it over, but yeah, you can pet it. Be very gentle.
Mm hmm. I know, but how are they true? What do you think, Abby? Cute. They are cute, huh? All right, well, it has been about four days since they have hatched. Only four of them hatched. The other one, we ended up getting rid of the egg. It had been a little too long, and we didn't want to see the egg explode because that can happen, apparently. So these are doing really good, though. We have some actual feathers on their wings and the tail. You can see little tufts coming out, a little bit longer feathers there. This one especially, you can see wing feather. Looks a little different, not quite peach fuzz, so they grow really quickly. And you might ask, why do I have Legos in the water? Well, that's because <laughs> they can drown themselves. So they say put in some pebbles, but I didn't have any pebbles that would fit in there. So grab some Legos and I figured that'll work. They can still drink from it, but it keeps them from falling asleep over the water and dying. So anyway, they're doing well. I'm pretty excited about this. Hopefully they all make it to adulthood and hopefully they're all female. I mean, I might get a male, might get two males, but they might all be males, who knows, but it would be great if they're all female because we can't have another male. We've already got a rooster and you have too many roosters uh, they'll fight and kill each other, so we would have to get rid of the rooster if one of these is rooster. It's possible they are. I don't know, honestly. But they're super cute. They're doing really well. They seem pretty healthy. So I'll keep you guys updated over the next couple weeks while I've got them here. And then, of course, uh, show introducing them to our outside flock. So stay tuned in the next couple weeks. I'll give you guys updates on their progress. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.